McNair gives it to George, running right up the middle. Touchdown! On the field, it's a miracle. You think he, now you want to shows why he's the man in trouble. Sex. What's up, Titan Nation? How's everyone doing today? Here we are continuing the draft class as I break down, talk about our picks uh, for the 2024 uh, NFL season. By the way, if anyone's seen it, Paul, Paul talked about it. He's like, hey man, where's Derrick Henry? In the Look, I'll put him back up, okay? He falls a lot, I don't have a stand for him, but Derrick Henry is in the background still. Even though he's a Raven, I told you guys, Derrick Henry will always be part of the Mr. Titan show. But other than that, I wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Carlos as well. Carlos is always uh, commenting on, on the videos, giving his opinion. So Carlos, thank you so much for commenting. Paul, thank you so much again. Everyone who's been watching me, I appreciate you guys. Keep up the comments, keep up the likes, subscribe, share. I appreciate you guys. Again, this channel is all about the Titans fans, how awesome you guys are, the community we built together to talk about Titans football, the team we love. So thank you so much. But let's talk about <clears throat> our fourth round pick. <clears throat> uh, it's a gentleman, a linebacker, Cedric Gray from North Carolina. Again, one of those picks that um, kind of surprised a lot of people that he would fall um, in the fourth round. But man, this guy, this guy can hit. This guy is a tackling machine. Again, he's only 21 years old, 6'2", 234 pounds. Uh, tackles career-wise was two, 369 uh, career tackles, 36 for uh, total losses. Um, man, this, uh, this is a big, big need, especially for the linebacker core for the Tennessee Titans. Again, Al uh, leaving, going to the Texans is a big hit on the defense. We had um, a couple other people leaving as well for the Tennessee Titans. And the defense looked like it was kind of shaky and stuff. But little by little, ran, started cooking, started getting uh, some players on the defensive side. Uh, you can say so much about this guy. I can't wait to see him. He's one of the ones I'm very, very excited to see on the field just because of his ability. Again, capabilities to cover one-on-one -on -one is ridiculous. I mean, he has outstanding athleticism. The guy's a stud, okay? Guy's a stud. Uh, sideline to sideline, range and speed. I mean, this guy can cover. Not only can he cover, but uh, like I said about the tackling, nasty tackler was all over the field when he played for the uh, Tar Heels everywhere again he had um he led the Tar Heels uh for three seasons uh he uh sorry excuse me Gray led the Tar Heels in tackles for three seasons in a row I mean that just shows you right there including a three straight hundred plus tackle campaigns and that one you I mean that's ridiculous to have over 100 tackles each season with the Tar Heels. Again, he was the main focus. He was all over the place uh, when it came to tackling. Um, another thing, uh, if you guys don't know, that he also played wide receiver in high school. Okay? So, with the route route running and stuff, he's, again, on point with that. Um, his uh, high-level route uh, concepts, again... He knows the routes because, again, he's played and he played wide receiver. He kind of knows the ins and out, which is something really, really good, something accustomed for a player to have multiple um, skill levels in other positions, okay? Helps him understand that position, helps him understand other positions, make everything better. So, again, um, really, really, really like this guy a lot. Um, it was kind of, like I said, it was kind of something that was kind of snuck in. Not a lot of people were talking about. I know uh, my buddy Mike talked about it. Uh, Mike heard on about how he 
towards the end of the, the draft process, he you know, mentioned Cedric Gray about being one of those players that he started really, really focusing on and liked as a linebacker. And I think um, this is going to be a, a really good pick. Again, only time will tell, but I think Rand's found another draft um, draft pick that could initially start day one of the Tennessee Titans. Obviously, um, you, you know, he's going to have to go through training camp and mini training camp and, you know, the process and stuff. And hopefully, you know, he can get the book, learn the system. But again, there's a very, 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 very high chance that we'll be seeing him playing uh, the first game of the season and stuff. And that's something that's really, really important for the Tennessee Titans to get this player and, and to watch him grow. And I, I hope so. I'm excited. I'm excited for this guy. Um, like I said, tackling machine. Okay? Like it. If you don't like it, then you got to love it. All right? Because that's what we need. We need someone gritty, knows ball, knows how to cover, and most importantly, knows how to tackle. Okay? A lot of missed tackles last year uh, for the Tennessee Titans. Um, it's and It was kind of like a trend and stuff for a while. Um, just missed tackles and stuff. So hopefully we found our go-getter. Um, and it could be like a diamond in the rough. So what do you guys think about Cedric Gray from the North Ter uh, Carolina Tar Heels? Did you like the pick? Would, is there someone else that you think that the Titans should have picked up? Um, you know, round four, pick 106. Let me know down in the comments below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. The season is starting to, to we're getting closer to mini camp and we're getting closer to the release of the games, the schedules and stuff. So it's, it's exciting. It's football is slowly getting accustomed to our everyday life which i mean in this channel if you're watching it's an everyday thing anyway we talk uh, football 24 7 but let me know i will be breaking down a couple more obviously all their our draft picks um tomorrow and so on and so forth i will be doing um a schedule release video and that should be fun talking about some of the games that i will be attending talking about the mr titan event Year four, Mr. Titan event. If you guys are in the area, um, you want to travel, home opener, um, it's going to be a good time. We'll talk, obviously, a little bit more as it gets closer. But again, thank you guys so much. Derek Henry's here with me, hanging out. Still a Titan Mize. Love you guys. And always, Titan up.